Hi guys, welcome back to Bloom and Peace again. Today I'm going to watch the One Piece live action settings as well as we're going to check out the vibes. I have my husband set it up for me, so I hadn't seen this at all. This is going to be our first. If this is your first too, then we're gonna have to take a look at this together. All right guys, let's just jump into the live action of One Piece. So I thought at first the live action would be consisting of the real people who are actually Japanese, but after I, like read it again turns out they are not all japanese and i like how variative they come i hope this show is going to be as good as the anime the comic as well because sometimes i also read the comics when i have to like rethink about one episode so i just read it again to have a better understanding on that episode this should be hello amazing. everyone i'm yaki Godoy and i play luffy in one piece hi i'm steve maeda i'm the showrunner of one piece and i'm not owen's showrunner and as you can see, we're here in South Africa bringing One Piece to life. Uh, we'd like to show you a sneak peek of some of our massive sets. Biggest One Piece fan, it's been really exciting seeing some of my favorite places from the manga become a reality. All right, enough talk. Roll the clip! Roll it! Oda's world is so unique. Seeing all of this stuff in person, being able to reach out and touch it has just been such an experience. Our crews down here in South Africa are incredible and it's been so rewarding to see them <gasps> taking Oda's world and bringing it to life. What, wait. Because of the level of detail and attention that goes into all of these sets, they take a good amount of time. I mean, right now we're building Arlong's map room and it's already been a couple of weeks, but it's a big build because it's a really important location. A lot of drama goes down in there. A lot of action goes down in there. So we have to get it just right. I love all the ships, but Baratia is massive. It is iconic. It is surrounded by floating docks, along with a bar inside the fish mouth, which is going to be Zoro's favorite spot in those uh, episodes. At the end of it all, I'm most excited to just be able to share this world with old fans and new. We get to go to work every day and walk on these massive sets and see these characters come to life. It's a really special experience and a privilege, and we can't wait to share it with you. Can we actually visit this set? I'm cheering. Okay, I'm cheering up a little bit because I feel like I understand the vibe. It's a movie setting that you didn't know you needed, right? Like the variety is so beautiful. It is. It is even better than how I imagine it. The details are insane. In the anime itself, parody looks like it is a beautiful elegant dining place zef the owner would not settle for something normal can't wait can't wait oh my god this is something that i didn't know that i need of course this is why my husband wants me to see this when is it starting again so i have the urge to like stop every scene and now we're here okay the, this first scene that we're seeing right now it is this is the real ship and look at all the details of the nets, of the stairs, the coloring, it is spot on. What? This is Nets Mary. I think this is Mary. I think this is the sheep Mary that Luffy had from Kaya. The window looks the same. The stairs also, but I don't remember the nets. I know, I can spot the ship right away. This is the, the ship Kaya gave him. Can't way to see Kaya too. Okay, let's get into the next scene. I'm Yaki Godoy and I play Luffy in One Piece. And of course, I want to talk about how Luffy introduces himself, his voice, and the way he talks. Okay, I like it. He's giving us the vibe. Biggest One Piece fan and really excited to see some of my favorite places from the manga become a reality. Okay, let's move on. Oda's world. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. The logo of One Piece. I never thought this is going to work out. They are using the real call on this live action logo and it's working. It's giving off the eerie vibe, serious, and so 
parity. Of course, the hat. Fang, give me the hat. No. We have the hat. The similar one. Again, I remind you, this is the one I bought in the store. The Mickey Wear store. And it is also torn. Uh, it doesn't look like this when I first bought it, but now it's totally torn. Cool. This is so unique seeing all of this stuff in person being able to reach out and this ship this very ship we are now on episode 45 if i'm not mistaken this is the very episode when we first encountered the ship that pick up cloud the cloud guy baggy sancho there's this lady picking up baggy sancho this got a bit of ship and also the goose is pink I'm assuming this belongs to the lady. Touch it has just been such an experience. And all the lamps, I know this is her ship. This is beautiful. Like if I ha if I were a pirate and I'm captain of the, the ship, this is going to be my ship. I don't know, I am so attached to pink, but this ship reminded me that I love pink. Experience our cruise down here. And of course, this is a merry-go-round. Look at the drawing. It is so realistic as if Usopp himself draw this. Like, yeah, this could work, yeah. And the gold on the... What are you thinking about the head figures? The head figures, I just talking about it. It looks they, happy. Do you think the realistic one like this or the one in the anime? I, I don't know, I like the anime ones and the anime, the, the, the gold looks silly. Beautifully silly, and this one, the goat kind of embodies Luffy. What? I feel like this goat can like. This is the embodiment of Luffy. He's goofy, he's serious, and he's a pirate. This is a pirate goat ship. Cool. Incredible. I love it. And the oh, the fairy team. Look at the lands. The Beautiful the lighting that it has on the decks, like the the lower lighting. What's what do you call it? Like the floor lighting that just shots the the logo of parity. Beautiful. Oh, and I just realized they have mermaids. And and I also love how they have the dragon on the like the front, like the how do you say it? Like the the other thing I see kepala ikan was the what is it in English? Ah, I don't, I can't speak English now. Woo, I love it. Um, <laughs> like on the head of the fish we have dragon and also the lanterns and oh don't forget on the side door we also have letters like Chinese letters. Is this okay? He is a pirate. He has seen so many culture, so it is just okay that this ship has so many um, cultures influenced on the ship. We have the writing that looks like Euro European. I, I can say it looks. The lighting is beautiful. If I was in this universe, I would absolutely get myself a seat in this restaurant. Oh, last time I went to Japan. Universal Studio were having a One Piece themed concept on their theme park. I wish, I wish after they finally shoot this Netflix series, maybe they could put it on their Universal Studio, wherever it is, in any part of the world. I'm gonna go there and I'm absolutely gonna eat in this parody ship. It would be better if they set it up on near like the water section of the area okay so rewarding to see the sign ah! oh my god this this chairs i don't know how it is going to be in the real movie but this concept that they're giving us is vibing like there are so many seats there and we also have so many um paintings 
and the painting is not like a regular one it's pirates themed painting do you know what they call Zack? food something? red food Zack? Yeah. yeah of course it's red and how the B the B letter stands out if I were a normal person like of course normal people will go to their restaurant to this restaurant just to eat that's why when they were fighting with um, Don Creek, they don't have any ship. Maybe they were transported by some little ships to get here, like normal people like us, if we are in their universe. Mm, I wish I could eat here someday. I'm taking Oda's world and... <laughs> I don't know what to say. Like even if the character that was drawn in this spaces. I like the Zeph's head there. It looks like Zeph's and it kind of resembles like Poseidon. Yes. <gasps> oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I think that's Poseidon. I think that that's Poseidon for sure. It's green. It's Poseidon. And uh, this kind of reminds me of the legend in Indonesia. There's this queen of the salt sea. She also wears green. Yeah, that's that's only him. <sighs> this reminds me, uh, if you like Ghibli also, you also gotta be familiar with Howl's Moving Castle. And I like how the Howl's Moving Castle looks like kind of real thing because it is messy and and beautiful of course and very detailed they, they have several places to eat where do i want to eat if i were there i'm probably going to eat uh right on the mouth of the fish like in the head of the fish because i can really grasp the area around me i can see inside the restaurants I can admire also the sea. That's the bar actually. That's the bar. Uh, well, I don't drink, but I can order a Coke or maybe I could just order a wine just because. But I just don't drink it. I'm just going to have it on my table. Oh, sorry. I'm just going to have it on my table, finding, talking to my friends. Amazing. Like, ah! the windows the level of detail and, attention and i feel like crying watching this section like the way they build it time. and right now we're building our they're bringing it's already been my dream ship it's into reality really right in front of my face a lot of drama goes down in there the workers goes down have to be really so we have to get detailed right. on the coloring and and this village area um, actually, this slum area kind of reminded me of this slum area in Indonesia. Uh, I forgot the name of it, but yeah, this kind of looks like it. I love all the ships. Yes, exactly. People are actually cooking, steams coming out of their houses. But Gratia is massive. Minus is the statue. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Bar inside the fish How yes, are they making it so realistic? In those uh, episodes. At the end of it all, I'm most excited to just be able to share this world with old fans uh, and new. <laughs> work every day and walk on these massive sets and see these. I want to go there, Saya. It's a really special experience just... and privilege, and we can't wait to share it with you. Netflix, I feel so privileged that you gave us a little tour of your setting. The shooting because you hadn't give us the actual episodes yet but you give us the love actions houses or the setting giving us a little inside of your sketches i really want to see buggy <sighs> yes i want to see buggy <laughs> okay i want to see buggy Sancho, especially if they can make buggy Sancho into a chibi one like on the last episode that we saw that she he, he get into the lady who have the, the the heart-shaped flag on her pirate ship 
and I want to see Baggy, I want to see, I want to see Uso, I want to see Luffy, we, we just saw Luffy actually, and I also want to see Nami, she gotta be sexy, she gotta be, she gotta look smart, and for Zoro, he has to have that uh, like serious eye, but also funny, when he needs to, Sanji, he gotta look handsome because I like Sanji actually at first when I don't so actually I've seen the pictures of like some character on Luffy's crewmate and one of it is Sanji and I was so attracted at him because he was like smoking looks so cool and, I, and everything but after I actually watched the show I don't know and for Luffy of course it's going to be a difficult one but I'm sure that he is going to nail that I also want to see Kuraha doll and of course I want to see Arlong. <laughs> Arlong, I really want to see how they make the nose so long. Come to think of it, I thought he's going to look like Shaquille O'Neal. Okay, guys, I think that's it. I think that's it. We're going to see how it is real life action by Netflix. Netflix, please release the newest video as soon as possible because we can't wait. Okay, guys, I'll see you on the next ones on the 45th episode. Probably a video of Sugars. So, bye.